All right, hey you guys, it is Subaki Swag and I'm coming to you with my reluctant review of Prison School episode four. I don't even know if they have like episode names. I don't know, I've never seen one, but huh, this episode, this episode is so fucking stupid, but awesome at the same time. I honestly don't know why I'm doing this review because this show is so fucking stupid, but I guess I do it because the vice principal, well, vice president is so fucking hot. She could punish me any day, but maybe that's just me. I don't know, but I would love to face plant into her vagina or even be be smushed by it. She can sit on my face all day if she want to. Ah, let me calm down. But this episode, besides the fuckery, it was actually pretty good. So pretty much this whole episode was Kiyoshi and Gukaku trying to get Kiyoshi on his date. And it actually explains why um, Gokaku face planted into vice president's vagina and then pantsed or skirted the president it was because he was going to go apologize to her and get her to cut get her to cut his hair and when he cut his hair when she cut his hair he saved the hair to give to Kiyoshi so he could make a wig and he would be able to get out of the school unscathed and it actually worked. I was really fucking surprised because I thought that anything that could go wrong would go wrong. And I felt like it wasn't going to go well for him. Nothing seems to be going well for him at all. And that continues to be true even throughout this episode. Because, of course, like, they set it up to where they he was going to try to get a uniform because the principal of the school closed up the hole that they had been working on so they were gonna have to find another way out and they figured out that they could go through the storm storm drains and get to the other side of the school so then he could just walk out the front doors after he got a uniform but his main mission was getting a uniform and I have to say um Gukaku I feel like I'm pronouncing his name wrong I probably am you guys know how I am with names so you you already know what the deal is but he was a fucking g like even though in even he said that it was all just for those figurines he is still pretty fucking awesome and i would love to have him as a friend because he went all out to help kiyoshi get to that date so he could so he could get those figurines for him but oh my god he gokaku went be fuck off on that laundry man like <laughs> he looked like at any moment he was going to climb the fence and try to attack the dude while, so that way Kiyoshi could get a uniform off that van but <sighs> that was the most epic it's not even a cat call I don't know what you would call that that was the most epic shit I've ever seen in my life and he deserves an award for all the things that he has endured to help Kiyoshi go on that date like, he deserves the best friend in the entire universe award for all the shit that he went through. But he went the fuck off. And I commend him completely for that display. Because, and he even peed on himself. It was that, that, it was that bad day. Or he was that scared. Because that dude looked like he was going to fuck him up. So I can understand why he peed on himself. Because it was pretty bad. Even though he was still going the fuck off while he was peeing on himself. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was actually pretty funny so they went through all of that and they got to that the day of when they were supposed to be helping with the track meet and all those fine girls oh my god there were asses everywhere ass and titties but um <laughs> so they got everything set up he set the speaker in the bathroom so that way when um vice president they would come in there um Gokaku could just turn on the fart noises and make her leave and it did work the first time and then he almost got caught because the uniform was too small and he ripped a hole in the back and then he was able to get away but then he made it to the to the yard where the entrance was and the president stopped him and I was like oh my god it's they're about to get another month added on to their sentence and Chio is just gonna leave she's not gonna she's gonna think that um she stood her up and all that good stuff but she let her she let him go because she thought that he was just wearing his bag like that well she 
was just wearing her bag like that because she had a hole in her jacket. So she let him go and he got away, which was actually pretty awesome. So he got to go on his date and everything was going great. She even made like rice balls for them and they were, they looked like they were pretty salty. There was nothing in them. It was literally just rice and salt and he... <laughs> It was like his carbohydrates and his face was all fat but he looked so cute and then he was he was making himself eat because he had eaten before he even went to the um sumo meet or i don't know what you, i don't know what you would call it sumo wrestling matches and he just downed them because he wanted to make chio happy so he had to go to the bathroom, she knocked over her tea, got on the bag, she saw the bag and saw the jacket and freaked out and then when he got back he called. she called him disgusting and ran away and then he found out that the jacket that he stole was hers. Of all the clothes he could have taken, he took her jacket. Of all, of all of the uniforms from all of the girls that are in that fucking school, he had to pick up Chiyo's jacket. Way to go, Kiyoshi. So, it looks like things are about to get real bad because Chio ran away and Kiyoshi left early. I don't even think he got the figurines for uh, Gokaku. So, yeah, it looks like things are not doing real good. And then the vice president, of course, was looking for Kiyoshi because he had been gone way too long. And she busted in the bathroom and then the episode cut off. So, it's like, no, I want to find out what happened. I don't want to wait until next week to see what happens. I don't want to wait until next week for them to pretty much tell us that. Or, who maybe he was actually in the potty. That would actually be pretty fucking awesome. I mean, it's highly unlikely, but it would be pretty awesome if he was actually in the stall when she kicked the door open. So, yeah, this episode was pretty intense. I wasn't prepared. I was actually, like, on the edge of my seat watching this episode because... I thought that, like, at any moment, Kiyoshi was going to get caught and they were going to get more, uh, like, the longer sentence tacked onto the sentence they already have. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so looking forward to next week. I really just... Oh, and at first... I forgot to mention this. At first, when they showed um, Vice Presidente cutting um, Gokaku's hair, at first she turned on a vibrator. I thought that... It Well, it looked like a vibrator because they bleeped it out. I thought she was about to shove a dildo up his ass. I mean, wouldn't be surprised from her because she's so fucking hot. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I thought that she was going to shove a dildo up his ass and he looked afraid. So, that's another thing. This show is so erotic and not erotic at the same time. Like, for real, she could sit on my face if she really wanted to. I wouldn't stop her. But that's neither here nor there. So, yeah. Ah, this show. This show is... This show is interesting. That's all I have to say about that one. So yeah, so as always, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode. How do you feel about the way things turn out? But please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. And this is Simba K. Swag saying adios.